Hello children Patanjali Rishipal class 8 I welcome you all to this science educational video Today we are going to learn more about sound characteristics of sound We have already learned that sound is produced by the vibration of objects And what is vibration? Vibrations are to and fro motion of the particles of an object. Frequency. The number of vibrations made by an object in 1 second is called frequency. And what is the SI unit of frequency? The SI unit of frequency is hertz. Amplitude Amplitude is the maximum displacement of a particle or object from its mean position to its either side and the SI unit of amplitude is meter you can see the figure here children you can see the oscillatory motion what is oscillatory motion it is just the to and fro motion of an object this picture you can see that B is the mean position or resting stage of the particle. The distance between the point B and A or B and C is the amplitude. One vibration is the movement of the object from B to A or A to C and then passing back to B from C. In oscillatory motion A particle starts from the mean position and moves to two extremes on the two sides by one. The motion of pendulum, you all must have heard, in a pendulum clock is an example of oscillatory motion. The maximum displacement of the particle or the object from its mean position to its either side is called its amplitude. So we have already discussed about it. Let's move ahead. Time period. What is time period? The time period is actually the time taken by an object to complete one vibration. The SI unit of time period is second. Now let us talk about the significance of amplitude and frequency. What is the importance of amplitude and frequency? The nature of sound produced it depends upon its amplitude as well as frequency. Loudness. What do you mean by loudness? The loudness of a sound it depends upon its amplitude. A vibration with a small amplitude produces a low volume or less loud sound whereas when we talk about vibration you can say with a large amplitude it produces a high volume sound or more loud sound can you see this picture children you must have noticed the differences between the voices of your father and mother Your father's voice is heavy, hoarse and blunt, while your mother's voice is sharper. And what about your voice? Is there any difference in your voice while you are screaming or while you are talking normally? Yes. What I want to tell is that the quality which makes us feel the shrillness or hoarseness of the sound is called pitch and the pitch of a sound depends directly on its frequency the low frequency sounds have low pitch and hoarse as well as blunt on the other hand the high frequency sounds have high pitch and they are sharp and shrill next is speed of sound what is the speed of sound 
the distance traveled by a sound wave propagating through a material media in a given time is called the speed of sound and it can be calculated by the formula speed is equal to distance upon time what is the si unit of speed it is meter per second when we talk about air then the speed of sound in air is 340 meter per second so children now we all have learned about speed of the sound the characteristics of sound and of course the significance of amplitude and frequency so this is all for now we will meet again in the next video till then take good care of yourself thank you bye